Okay, we're back. Back at our old base of operations here. I was making... Did I get it all? Yeah. I have a ton of meat. That just happened to be lying... Oh, lights off. Just happened to be lying around. I got some of this too. Um, and I picked up stuff. I hit the other... Um, here. Um, I hit the other uh, place too. The... the oh, iron ore. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, you know what? Oh, yeah, right. Because I really do need to start getting into... Um, um, uh, I'll leave those here. I don't need those. Um, I really do need to start getting into farming. Yeah, I can get as much dirt as I want. Uh, books, though. Yeah, yeah, books, books. So, yeah, I'm back here. I hit the old uh, chest that was up the road here. And that's where I got the... Uh, I picked up one of these because they were identical. And, of course, I get that, um, I hit that, um, oh, wait a minute. Was there anything in here? Mm, not really. And I never put anything in here. Did I make stuff here? No, I didn't. Oh, that's still got some in it, but I'm not going to bother myself with that. Was there anything in here? No. Uh, the lead mold isn't a problem. I can get one. Um, let me take that. Right. So... I got, I'm on day 13. I really could be in trouble at nearly any time. So, you know, shotgun. Um, I, I heard that the dog hordes were out uh, for now, uh, but I don't know that for a fact. But I need to get back, and I need to start... Didn't I leave a bag in that building? I think I did. I even searched the chest that I had... Um, okay. Um... Do I want to take these for... Yeah, I'll take that and that. I'm not going to take these because it might make it difficult for me to do stuff. Yeah, that and that. All right. Yeah, there wasn't really anybody in this area, so stuff didn't really respawn. I think there was a bag in here. How much space do I... Uh, you know what? I don't have any space. All right. So, yeah, and I checked this one, too. Um... Don't really need anything in there. So, I am going to head back. Uh, and I, I need to work on a base. I need to work on a base. I don't know if I'm going to have it up for Horde on the 14th. Um, did I ever search this place? That's a, that's a multi-story building there. I don't think I ever searched this place. No, I didn't. So, why don't we do that while we're here? So... Okay. Did I pick that... Oh, football helmet. Football helmet is a keeper. Um... Um... I really don't need that. Yeah, with the... Because the Kelvar helmet is nearly gone. You know, so that's actually a really good pickup. Um, yeah, see, the um, with the Horde coming on the 14th, it really apparently can come at any time. You know, the last one may not have come uh, because, uh, like I said before, because I died earlier that day. It might have bugged everything out. Of course, who knows? Maybe the Hordes are bugged. I have no idea. All right, I shouldn't be wasting my time. If there is a gun safe downstairs, that would be good. Um, water, water. I don't need simple water. And flashlights, I don't need flashlights. Okay, so we got it upstairs and we got it downstairs. Um, so I was actually leading some possibility to extending the size, lo the length of the day. Now I just put those in there. Yeah. Is it a good safe? Oh, well, actually, there's there's nothing here at all, except bullets, which are very good. Where's Where's my stack of bullets? Here it is. Good. That's good. And gun part. Um, let me just see what's in here. This is fine. It's got a purple part. Okay. I need to get that back. Um, you know what? I picked up a candle. I don't need the candle. Where is it? You know, I picked up that candle when I was in the base. I was like, yeah, let me just grab the candle. No, I don't need the candle. Yeah, so um, that could end up being very useful to me. All right, what do we got in the bag? What do we got in the bag? 
Receiver 409. 409. Nah, mine's better. Alright. Mine's better. And of course... Reload. Okay, so let's get out of here. There wasn't... Well, I should check the attic. The attic might have something, too. Um... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, 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 I want to build a base. I want to build a base, but it's very likely that I will get... Oh, what is this? Hunting rifle parts. 580... No, the bolt. 583. Let's just check. Oh, no, 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 no. This. Oh, just, and you know what? Not enough to justify it. Nope, nope, nope. Not enough to justify it. And then we'll just go reload. So that's where I just looked, right? Yeah, there was nothing in there. Um, air conditioner? No. And what happened to my light? Okay. Wow, that's, that's acting really bizarrely. Yeah, okay. I think I've heard about it being semi-bugged, but... That's pretty bugged. Um, yeah, so... Anything in there? No. Okay, yeah, I really don't need any of that. If there was, like, stuff, then yeah, that would be good. But I don't see... Oh, there's actually a light in there. You know, I haven't actually seen that before. All right, down and out. And you know what? I just need to head back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the uh, base. And if everything is nice and quiet... I'll just magically be there. Okay, I'm back in my little hidey hole here. Completely uneventful. I can kill the light, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with the um, Kelvar. The Kelvar is a little bit better, but uh, I'm gonna hold on to the football helmet in case of emergency. I think that's the one I just put in. Yeah, it is. So let's see what we can do with this pistol that we have right here now. The current one we have is a, uh, a 420 and 68, which is pretty good. Now, I do remember that this had this. So, let's get all this other stuff out of here. Because I just want that one part. And now, let's put this in here. And I can put take this out, put that in. And what about the other one? The other one? No, that's a 342. No, that's a better one. Okay, so let's just craft that. Ooh. That's a bit better. Yes, that is a bit better. Yeah. It does need some repair work, though. I don't need that. That's crap. I uh, don't need that. That's crap. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, just crap all. Let's scrap all of that. I'm going to hold on to that. You never know. Um... So let's see. Did I have... I'm going to look at these. Well, that one's a poor one. I don't even know why I'm... That's a good one. Um, let's take these guys out. Let's scrap anything we don't need, right? So let's see. The one that I now have, the weakness is the parts. That it's just fine, right? So let's keep that in mind. Um, that's just good. That's just good. That's no big deal. What about this one? This is generally just all crap, isn't it? Yeah, so you know what? I'm just going to take that one part out, and I'm going to scrap the rest, because there's no reason to keep it. So let's scrap that, and scrap that. That's faulty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep those two parts. They might end up being useful. I think those are the only pistols that I have. Here, put that over there, put that over there. Yeah, I had to leave some more purple stuff behind. Stuff that was close for the, um, the rifle. And a couple of bags and such, but, um, there just wasn't anything that was worth the trouble. Now, I, I brought all of my brass with me from those other locations so that I can mass produce. And I do realize that running two furnaces might end up getting me in trouble. So let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, and do this. Oops, does that not all stack? No, it does not, does it? Oh, 50 is the stack. Oh, okay. That's unusual. 
Um, usually their stacks are, uh, no, that one's just going to be off. Yeah, so I'm cooking more, um, I'm cooking the iron that I have. Some more of it that I got at the other place using those couches. And I'm also cooking this so that I can make more concrete. Right here, I need to make concrete mix. But I do need gravel. I do have a chunk here. Let's just do this. Because it's the reason you do it in the first place, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Uh, is it that way? Yes, it is. All right, so we got more of that. So gravel is the problem. But, I mean, this is pretty good to start with. Um, put that in there. i put this done back one here. All right. Now comes the dilemma. Um... After I make some weapon repair kits, of course. You know, I should have trashed... I, I went by the tents and I should have trashed them to um, get myself some... Um, uh, repair... To get myself some cloth, because actually that's a problem at the moment. Okay, eight weapon repair kits, which is good. I can start fixing this. Well, I think that should do that. Yes, it is. Uh, shotgun, maybe one. That looks good to me. Uh, hunting rifle, I'm gonna give him two. That's, that's good to go. Um, oh, I, I, did I have any more? No, I, yeah, I had some more. Give him the minutes. This is good. Alright, so we are good. Uh, I should, I should do something about that. So, I actually got a ton of wood out, too, while, while I was there, which is something I'm going to need. Uh, especially if I build a base on the outside, I'm going to want the big spikes, you know? Yeah, I should probably grab another beer or two. Because if I'm outside, you know, it could very well be that I will be outside uh, and then run into the, uh, the horde. Uh, because I'm going to have to start building. I don't have any choice in the matter. I need to start building. Oh, wow, I have a lot of cloth. I didn't even realize that. All right, let's put that back now here. Here. Yeah. And food. What is that? Chicken? That's chicken, too. All right. Um, I don't need that many with me. Uh, golden rod. I got full stack. I, lo I loaded up when I got to uh, base because I had some golden rod. And I picked some along the way, too, so... Um, right, like that. Yeah, I got a lot of iron and stone for cooking. So, oh, I have one extra strip. No, need that. And I don't need the weapon repair kit with me. So, yeah, you just hold on to that. All right. So, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Um, I don't need to carry all of the wood with me. I'll do that. That's actually the wrong place. That's probably a better location. All right, so I don't have a lot of time. Um, what I was thinking of, unfortunately, is really far away. It's he and that's here. It's this one over here. I wanted to, in, right where the center is there. I wanted to, because there were valleys around there, but it was an open and flat place. And I don't see, I don't see any um, caves there, although that might be a cave. I don't know. I think caves appear a little darker, don't they? Because I don't really want a cave, because I don't want to drill down and then hit something that is kind of bad. So, what what to do, what to do? I would say preparations would probably be in order, because I can get attacked tomorrow at any time. So, do I want to be attacked while I'm in here? I don't know. It would take them a long time to get down to me. And I actually, I still don't have a sleeping bag here. You know, I still don't have a sleeping bag here. It's still the top of that tower over there. And we've seen, that's not safe. But as long as I have the beer, I can run. What I should do is lots and lots of ammo. And that's what I'm going to do. But is there anything that I can do now? that might be of use to me. Um, I can't think of anything. Um, 
I gathered I gathered stuff already. Um, the only thing I can think of that might be useful would require a long trip, and that would be to go back to the desert to look for that bag. Oh my goodness, that is such a long trip. Uh, yeah, I could have thought of that while I was out. But uh, that's too long a trip to do now. I mean, look, it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock and they start running in two hours. So, you know what? There's really nothing I can do at this point but get preparations. And I probably should do a better job of sealing this place. Because I am going to get guests with all of this cooking that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build stuff. I'm going to build stuff and I'm going to prepare. And I'm going to prepare. Um, and up there. Right. I'm going to build stuff and I'm going to prepare. I need lots of rebarb. I need lots of frames, lots of wood. I need a claw hammer. Let's just make a claw hammer now because that is something that I'm going to need. Um, I don't have a nail gun. Nail gun is the best repairing thing there is. So let's go claw hammer. They want um, that. I thought they wanted... Ugh. Just ignore me. Okay, so there I have a claw hammer. It's actually... Well, that's probably the color they all are, isn't it? And what I'm going to do with the rest of these is make pipes. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to want... Um, to make a base. I've already kind of have a design out. The problem is I'm probably going to be attacked while I'm making that base. But I do want to have everything with me. Um, I'm going to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a panic room. I'm going to make a panic room. I'm going to use concrete for it. And what that's going to be for is I'm going to put my sleeping bag there. Um... I guess I could make it at the end of this court because I made this one kind of straight here, right? And this is pretty much underground. You know? Did I put light down there? Okay. All right. So you know what I'm going to do? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a panic room and I'm going to put it down there and that's where my sleeping bag is going to be. I probably will also put a... Um, at the front here, I will make um, um, I will make a reinforced concrete thing here. So when I am ready to start building that, I will be back. Okay, I'm back, and as you've seen, I've laid the rebarb here in a nice little thing, just as in case anyone hasn't seen this before. So you get you make the rebarb frame. You've seen that being done. You make that from the pipes, right? So now you have the repair tool. Now, in order to do the first stage, you need to have wood planks. So this is what this looks like. Right? Right, okay. So you see it's like kind of hollow when it's holding it and stuff. So what you do now is you take the concrete mix, right? And then you like pour it. Right? Now, that's actually wet. It's not as strong as when it's actually going to harden. It will harden over time, and you'll notice the bricks will actually harden, uh, the blocks will actually harden at a different pace from each other. So I don't need that anymore. By the way, while I was actually goofing around, um, who hold it a second, where are we got? It slipped my mind completely that you can do this. You take the stone, you make it into small stones, then you just use the small stones to make gravel so as long as you got stones you know the big bottleneck is actually cooking I might want to consider putting one of those over there too see what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to take this make some of the forging steel there's forging metal right? and I'm going to do a door whoops if I spell door right if I spell it wrong again ugh. Okay, and then we got a hard metal door. We got a hard metal door. Right, and then we craft it. I'm actually going to need more of that metal to 
We'll see why in a moment. I don't know if I can put that down yet. Can I put that down? Yeah, it says I can, so hold on a minute. Let's see. Can I put that down? You gonna let me? Maybe, yeah, you know what it is? Maybe that has to actually dry first before it'll let you do that. It's not letting me... No, it's not letting me do it. Whoa! Okay, so I am going to wait for that to uh, dry and then put it down. Then I'm going to upgrade it. But at the moment, I'm going to go down and I'm going to... You know what? I am wasting the opportunity to cook more of this stuff. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, because that is the bottleneck. Where is the stone? I think I left a stone over here. Stone... Yes, I can grab some of this. I don't need all of that. All right. And since I'm there, too... Where was it? Ah, 61. Can I have any more? Yes, I can. Okay, not quite enough for 62, but hey, you get a little bit each time, right? Matter of fact, let's take a little bit of goldenrod. Goldenrod might push me over the edge. Yes, yeah, 62. Yes, excellent, excellent. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down there. Oh, am I not cooking yet? Because I didn't put the stuff... In. Oh, that's iron. I need to cook iron too, but I'm not going to do both at the same time. Iron cooks a lot quicker. Um, a whole lot of time. So let's just put the wood in there. That should do. Right. So, okay, so I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to work on the actual panic room. When I got something to show you, you will see it. Just a quick update. The, uh, a lot of the, um, the reinforced is, is, uh, hardened, dried, but it's not all done, so I can't put it down yet. But it's, when you're making a tunnel like this, sometimes you can lose perspective. So what I like to do is at a point where I want to go in a straight line, I just put down the frames. And then, you know what, just make a floor, you know? Because in the end, if it's a panic room, you're probably going to want a tunnel, you know? That way you can put, like, whatever you want here. More doors, more reinforced, and then maybe even just, like, a killing zone. If you got, like, a s shotgun or a machine gun or something. And then you can do put down um, the iron rebar here. So you can actually get, maybe get headshots while they're, with a rifle or something while they're working. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I think that's kind of long enough. I might extend it a little longer, but then I need to actually make a room. And I'm going to put more reinforced um, concrete around there. And so that's the plan. It is approaching nighttime, and I'm still cooking the other stuff. So I'm just wondering whether or not this is fully hardened yet. I see the ground is. Okay, that might do it because the ground is where you're putting it. You notice these are done already. So let's see if we can get this door down. I put some more over there just in case I don't I don't want any surprises. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now what we do is see I got this forging iron in here. Where is it? I got more of the forging iron. So what you can do with that upgrade it once upgrade it twice so that ended up costing me four so it's a little extra layer of protection you know they have to beat through it so you never know that could be good and then what you could always do is you know if you're again you're a little on the paranoid side you know you can just do this boom like that so they get through the door and while you're through the door you know you can just say hey yo headshot headshot you know like that so, anyway, let's get back to work. Okay, it is now after 6, so bad things can happen. As you see, I've hollowed out a little area. I took this, and then what I like to do is go a little bit this way, a little bit that way, and then start construction of an actual room, right? The best way, again, you just lay these guys down. And one thing to keep in mind is, like, in my case, I'm, like, crawling. I always crawl when I'm in my bases, because... I just don't want to draw unwanted attention, you know? It's never a good thing. Okay, I need to do something about that. Yeah, I went through a, um, a coffee to clear all of that out. 
and uh, it was rather effective. Okay, uh, there, and then probably a little bit over here too. Um, and you can see I'm going through wood really quickly because, yeah, wood is very important. Luckily, if you got a halfway decent axe, it moves really fast. Yeah, when you get a chainsaw, that's when, ooh, that's when it really goes. So let's just finish making this floor here for the time being. Do some of this. Yep. Because at this point, you know, for this room... You've seen how deep I am now. I mean, I was deep the first time, but now, wow. They are not going to be coming through the ceiling. If they're going to be coming into this room, which is where my sleeping bag's going to be, because this is my panic room, they're going to have to come through here. No question whatsoever. There is no way they're going to get through all of that. So, this is where you can just say, this whole corridor might end up being reinforced concrete right maybe even have multiple doors but the thing is you know if they get through one door they can get through the other ones so you know you put the rebarb here maybe even just leave it make it permanent and just crawl in and out you know but you wouldn't want to do it like high because you do want to get the headshots as I understand it even on normal the um, you know what that looks ugly even on normal yeah, it, uh, yeah, fill that in now, right? Because this doesn't have to be gargantuan or anything like that. Although I said you have to watch, because once you're stooped down here, you don't want the game punishing you for its own physics. So, yep, so we're, we're the night's going quick, so just going to get back to work and see what we can do before morning. Okay, and here we are. I put some candles up. It's nearly morning, of course, on day 14. So... Uh, I made a little thing here. I'm going to put uh, a door there, but um, it's not dry yet, so it won't let me do that. So what I am going to do, though, is this. Boom. That's it. I now spawn here if I die. I put a little chest over there, too. Good idea for... Uh, panic room in case you want to put some extra ammo or something in there so that got one dry there already so when the rest of that's dry I am going to put down the the door but we are approaching morning and they are now officially not running so all kinds of fun things can happen today and I mean fun in a painful terrible way I really don't want to lose my wellness I'm beginning to think that being outside with a lot of beer and a lot of ammo, that might be the way to go. All right, day 14. Let's see what happens today.